We're excited that we're uh, talking with Robin Roberts. Now, last time we saw you, Robin, you were at the uh, Indianapolis 500 driving pace cars, and now you're hanging out with the country stars getting ready for the CMA Awards coming up on ABC Wednesday, this next Wednesday night. But tonight, you're in the spotlight with Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood. That had to be very exciting to talk with these people. It was very exciting, but let me tell you something. I didn't know I was going to be talking to you. I am wearing my Indy 500 ring. Look at they that. They gave it to me, and this is, yeah. <laughs> everyone's very envious, but I wear it with great pride. So now that we have that out of the way. Yes. But I am very excited about the um, In the Spotlight and All Access Nashville. And the, I got to tell you, they're, they're so down to earth. And country music stars are, are great with their audiences. And I am so appreciative of how open they all were. And I think we're all going to learn a little bit something that we didn't know about them. And I know I certainly did when I sat down with them and invited into their homes, which was great. Well, one of the biggest stories for country music was Carrie Underwood getting married over the summer, the big summer wedding. And a lot of people don't realize this, but she's a pretty private person. But she did open up about her marriage to you. Is that right? She did. And it was I was surprised by that because last year when she was in the special, we went home with her to Shakota, Oklahoma. And I remember that she said his name in the interview. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, she said his name because she didn't even, that never went there. And now they're married uh, less than a year later from that interview. And she was Mike this, Mike that, Mike this, Mike that, told us his nickname. <laughs> and, and I think she's just relieved that, you know, the pressure is off of her and everyone w wanting to know what was going on. And she realizes if you just go ahead and you just, you're, and we've built a relationship over the years and she trusts me and she knows I'm not going to, not going to abuse it, but it was it was cute to hear the little stories between the two of them, and also that she gave us a photo or two that people haven't seen from the wedding. Well, one of the hosts of the show, Brad Paisley, you know, of course, over the past summer, the floods in Nashville were horrific, and he yeah. lost a lot of equipment and uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. How's he handling that? Has he recovered pretty well? Well, you know, he's very appreciative. He knows that it's not as bad. Uh, that he has the resources to recoup the things that he lost and he realizes that's not the case for a lot of people in Nashville so he keeps it in check but you know yes it was it was very difficult he was in his home and he talks about being in his home with his wife Kim and the two boys and uh, when the flooding started and, and just the, the panic but he also showed uh, and Brad doesn't really do a lot of interviews he just it's just it's not in its nature and I was I was glad that he let uh, sat down with me but he also gave us some footage when he was addressing his crew after the floods and before they were about to go out on their tour and uh, the emotion the uh, his voice his face uh, it really it was like wow um, it just kind of put you back and let you know uh, what these, uh, what everyone was going through, and even someone like a, a Brad Paisley was going through at that point. His wife also opens up a little bit. Usually, she doesn't agree to, to interviews, even though she is a celebrity and an I actress know. herself. So you got to visit with her. I know. I was like going, "This is great." She, um, <laughs> just so, so I know I, I was as surprised as you were, but um, a allowed us to interview her. Um, we were there, uh, they have a beautiful home outside of Nashville, and it's a beautiful home, but you know what's so great? It's not over the top. It's not like, oh boy, you know, we got all this money, so let's just build this huge, humongous uh, cathedral or something like that. It's a log cabin, very nice log cabin, I might <laughs> add. Um, but to see um, them at home with the boys, the only, only thing they said is that we couldn't videotape their boys, mm -hmm. their young sons, and that's totally understandable. But they were running all around and playing on the bulldozer. But uh, she was she was really coming clean on on how the whole bit about how they met and how he was after her and well you'll <laughs> you'll see it tonight. <laughs> well, it's been a big year for a couple of people and, and for two different reasons. Miranda Lambert, obviously nine uh, CMA nominations for the show, and uh, mm -hmm. and not only that, of course, an engagement to Blake Shelton. But then there's Leanne Rhimes, who's had a really cr controversial year, um, and mm -hmm. ha there has been an infidelity. And she did talk to you about that, and you also got a chance to visit with uh, Leanne's boyfriend Eddie Sibri. So a couple of big stars that you'll be visiting with. You are so sweet, infidelity. They'll tell you they cheated. You know, you <laughs> well, you're like, yeah, that's a nice way. That's a nice way of putting it. And they, they appreciate that, but they're not trying to sugarcoat it. They know what they did was wrong. And there's no two ways about it. They were both married. Um, only people who are married know what's going on in that marriage. Still no excuse. And I was pleased that they're not trying by any stretch of imagination to make excuses for it, but you do have a better understanding of where they both were in their lives. And this is the first time that Eddie has talked about mm -hmm. Leanne. There's been some written publications that Leanne, this first time on camera for her, but for both of them to be together. And I think in part, guys, they're just trying to say, 
look, we're human. We fell in love. It's wrong how it happened, but it's been a year and a half. They live together in Los Angeles. They let our cameras come in to their home. I read something to Leanne and she just burst into tears and kind of we're all weren't expecting uh, expecting that. So you just know how still at the surface uh, uh, all this is for, for both of them. Well, it's in the spotlight. It's tonight at uh, 10 o'clock. We're looking forward to seeing it. Thank you so much for joining us. And it's, of course, going to be on ABC. See this gorgeous RTD. ring? It's like, yeah. I like it. <laughs> hey, no rubbing it in now, That's okay? Right. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> I loved you. it. That was fun. I'm still, I'm still making my left hand turn. <laughs> <laughs> Take you. care. That was great. You too. Thanks.